I'm so fucking good. I'm so good. Squirrel? Is that what we came for? Oh, yes. Yeah, squirrel. Right. Yeah. So, I've always been fascinated by foxes because Disney's Robin Hood was my favorite movie growing up. I know all the words to it. I know every single word to Disney's Robin Hood. If we watched it right now, I'd be reciting every word and you tell me to shut the fuck up because it's incredibly annoying when I recite all of the words in accents and funny voices and all sorts because I know the film up and backwards. Okay? And, uh... What's similar to a fox that's kind of around all the time? You very rarely see foxes, but you do see squirrels pretty often. And honestly, a squirrel is pretty similar to a fox. Okay? So I've always kind of wanted a pet squirrel. Obviously, I prefer a pet fox, but a pet squirrel would do. So I, uh, when I was going camping once with my family... I say camping, we weren't in a tent, we went to one of those like holiday lodge things, and and the place was teeming with wildlife, it was in like a woods area, what do they call it, I can't remember, anyway, uh, so I decided to set, I was 10 at the time, I decided to set an elaborate trap, no actually I wasn't 10, I think I was 12 or 13, it's embarrassing because I was so old, I was 12 or 13, I decided to set a cunning trap for a squirrel, a very cunning trap, <laughs> and uh, what I decided to do was I had a piece of string that was kind of wound around and just held up a box and there was some like there was some berries underneath and the idea was if the if the squirrel came in and ate the berries then it would also eat through the string and the string would snap and the box would close and the box would trap the squirrel and I would have like a, a pet squirrel to myself and my parents let me do it because there was no way this trap was ever going to work it was literally impossible it could not have functioned in 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 the physical realm that we exist in. So they just let me do it. And every day I would come back. We were there for about a week. Every day I would come back and I would check under the trap and add a couple more berries because obviously the berries were getting fucking eaten without the, tra without the trap going through. And so I was like, okay, one day, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe it'll happen. 12 or 13, and I believe this. 12 or 13, it's the most embarrassing thing I can ever think of. My parents still lord it over me to this day. And, and, and this elaborate trap had been set up. And remember, it was held with a piece of string. The piece of string was the really pivotal point. The squirrel had to bite through the piece of string. The fuck do I think? Why would they bite through a piece of string? I don't know. But that was 10-year-old that was Sideshow. And so my parents, when they were out hiking, found, just massive coincidence, found a rotted corpse of a dead squirrel. Process this for a second. They found the rotting corpse of a dead squirrel. They decided it would be funny to pull a prank on me and say that the squirrel had been caught in the string, hung itself, and died. So they, my dad carried back the rotting corpse of a dead squirrel. It had been dead for weeks. It was decomposing. It was rotting. And hung, made a little noose out of the string that I thought was like the centerpiece of this trap. Made a little noose and hung the rotting corpse of a dead squirrel off, off this tree that I'd mounted the trap on by the noose. By the, by the noose. He hung the corp, corpse of a dead squirrel up. And he, and, and they, 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 when I came in, when I came in, I'd been like at some swimming pool or something. Because it was like a holiday hostel, right? When I came in... They were like, Josh, your trap worked. Josh, you caught a squirrel. You caught a squirrel. And I was elated. I was like, holy fuck, it worked. I'm a genius. I'm an actual genius. That is, that is crazy. I'm a, I'm a god, right? And, and I, I walk outside and I see this corpse of a dead squirrel. And I'm like, fuck, I didn't mean to kill the squirrel. How? How did this happen? How did it hang itself? Oh, my. I felt awful. I thought that it had happened. Remember that I think that this squirrel had died like two hours ago. And it's already rotting. Like my brain was like... I thought that the, I thought this squirrel was freshly dead. And it was rotting. It was basically... A, it wasn't quite a skeleton. But it, was, it looked like roadkill that had been there for a while. Fuck me. And so I, I really thought that I had killed this squirrel. And it had been hung up. So I was like... I was elated for the fact that the trap had worked, but devastated that I killed this squirrel when I didn't intend it to. It was supposed to just be a harmless trap that was going to give me a pet squirrel. And so I was caught in this weird cycle, and my parents and my grandparents who were there camping with us were just pissing themselves laughing. Just pissing themselves laughing. And I thought they were laughing at the fact that 
I thought they were laughing in a cruel way that I had killed the squirrel. And so I was like getting getting annoyed with them and shit. And it took me, I was 13. I was 13 and I thought that a fresh corpse was, was like rotting and shit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They they took a video of the whole thing. That The video still exists. My parents still have the video of me like super excited that I caught a squirrel. Then realizing it's dead and being like, oh no. And then they're, they're like, you dumb fuck. It's a rotting corpse of a squirrel. I don't have the video myself. My uh, my My parents have it back at home. And no one's ever seeing it ever because I'm just so naive and innocent. Okay, so that isn't me catching a squirrel. This is the preamble. I'm setting up the history here. This is not the story. This is just something that happened in my childhood. Okay, let's. I was 13. Let's fast forward eight years. Let's fast forward eight years. I'm now 21. This was two years ago. I'm now 21. I'm now 21. I decide there's a squirrel that frequently comes into our back garden. We've just had the patio redone in our university house. It faces south. It's a lovely sun trap. It's delightful. We're out every day in the summer just after the exams are finished. Like, just loving life with the sun on us and shit. And, and so we uh, have, like, our own little backyard to ourselves. And there's this squirrel that keeps dancing over the fence. And so we're like, oh, hey, that's cool. We'll put some nuts out for the squirrel. So we go and we buy, like, a, a pack of nuts. We buy, like, a kilo of nuts. No, not a kilo. No, it must have been only like 200 grams of nuts. You don't buy a kilo of nuts. No, we bought like 200 grams of nuts. And so we would feed the squirrel. And about after a week of feeding the squirrel, it started coming towards us a lot more. Honestly, I have the phone. I have a fo- uh, a video on my phone that uh, maybe I'll get it at a future date. But it's of the it's of me just sat in the patio throwing out some, some nuts. And the squirrel's just kind of getting ballsy. It's getting used to us. And it comes and it eats them maybe like a couple of feet away from my feet. You know, like a meter away from my feet, it would come and eat these nuts. And so, uh, and so now the squirrel's like, like loving us. Also, probably dependent on us for sustenance. And a, a terrible idea. Do not do this at home. But fuck knows what I was doing. So then, I decided that I would try and tame the squirrel. You know, I would try and feed it to the point where it was happy with us, and you know, we would just have our own little pet squirrel. Again, I'm deluded. What can I say? I've been brought up on Disney movies. So, so 200 grams of nuts go by. Another week, another 200 grams of nuts. In the end, we got through a kilogram of nuts with me feeding this squirrel. And this was like, I had so much free time. I was just putting out nuts. I would put them a meter away from the door. Then I put them, you know, two feet away from the door. And this was over the course of, over the course of so long. It would take me, I would put them in one spot for a whole day. And the squirrel would come maybe two or three times a day. Uh, and then I, I'd move them and I'd put a couple of nuts. You know, I'm not like putting fucking tons of nuts, but I'm just putting a couple of nuts. Uh, and it would come. It would come. Uh, and, and it would it would eat the nuts and it would uh, get a little closer. And and so I, I got it to the point where it would come inside the house. I'd put the nuts in the front doorstep of our house and it would come and it would eat them. And so I was like, I wonder what would happen if I got it inside the house and then closed the door. And we just had a pet squirrel. We just had a pet squirrel. So I devised another cunning plan. This time around, uh, around, uh, what do you call it? String again. So we had big patio doors that opened up like this. So say you're inside the house, patio doors, boom, open up onto the patio. So that means they close this way, right? So if you tie a piece of string to this handle and you're set inside the room, if you pull on that piece of string, boom, the door's going to shut. Okay? So, so... Another elaborate plan formed. (laughs) Another elaborate plan formed. I'm not saying this is morally correct in any sense. It's not. I'm deluded. I'm a bad person. I just wanted a pet squirrel. I've been brought up on too many Disney movies. All right. So I I leave one door open. and, uh, and, And slowly, this is after two weeks. Maybe we're getting on to the third week here. I put some nuts inside the house. You know, it's, it's like a couple of centimeters inside the house. Squirrel comes. Another day. Okay. We're now getting to the point where it's a meter inside the house. And I try and close it and the squirrel just fucking darts away. And I'm like, shit. Shit. Maybe I've ruined the trust with this squirrel. Oh, I forgot to tell you as well. We named the squirrel Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. I, I can't remember why. My mate, came, my mate just decided that we were calling her Queen Latifah. I think it was because the squirrel was starting to get a bit fat. Got a bit of a booty. 
after we'd been feeding us so many squirrel, so many nuts. So we're trying to, we're, we've already, we're, in our heads, we already have a pet squirrel. She's called Queen Latifah. She lives with us. We feed it. That's it. That's, that's, the, that's the situation. But this squirrel did not know yet that it was a pet. So it darted off. And so the next day, you know, squirrels have a very bad memory, apparently. Or this was a very trusting squirrel because it still would come inside the house. So we got it. I got it. The, my housemate thought I was mad. I got it about a meter and a half inside the house. And in the middle of it eating, I yank on this piece of string. And the door goes boom and slams shut behind it. And suddenly it's like fucking... This squirrel doesn't know what the fuck is happening. I knew it was like instant regret. I knew as soon as I'd done it, I have ruined this squirrel's life. It is now just just flipping the fuck out. It's the door shut behind it, and instantly it turns around with this little like squirrel head and just runs off the door and like hits itself off the, off the door. And it's like, what the fuck is this transparent material that doesn't work? And it just goes hyper. It was jumping around the living room. I was like, I was like, Lizzie, Lizzie. I've caught a fucking squirrel! Lizzie, I've caught a squirrel! My housemates come rushing down from the uh, from their bedrooms into the living room, but I have to slam the living room door because it's like, it's honestly, it was like, you know, over the hedge and that squirrel that's just on crack all the time or something. It was like that. It was actually ridiculous. It just buzzing around the room. And, uh... And and so I, I realize I've made a mistake instantly. Instantly, this plan seems like it's horrible. And, and I, my, my housemates are like, you, you've trapped vermin inside the house. You've trapped a rodent inside the house. And the things are bouncing off the wall. I was like, how do I get it out at this point? I'm not trying to keep it in. I, I'm trying to get it out. So... At this point, it's trying to get off the windows. It's like, they're, they're naturally pretty oily, I think. You know, they're just, I, I mean, they don't fucking wash. We'd be naturally oily if we didn't wash. It's hair and stuff. So it has naturally oily fur. And it's like running at the patio doors because it doesn't un- understand the concept of glass. It's a dumb fuck of a squirrel. It doesn't understand that it's trapped. And so it's running against the, against the glass repeatedly, trying to get out. And I was like, oh my god, this squirrel's going to hurt itself. I'm, uh, this is actually like really unethical now. I'm literally holding a squirrel against his will and I think I'm really fearing that it's going to hurt itself or kill itself running against glass r- repeatedly so I was like fuck 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 so I was trying to like I don't know why but in my panic I was trying to like pick it up so I'm running after the squirrel trying to pick it up I don't know what the fuck I thought I was going to do when I picked it up just to open the window and throw it out or something I didn't think to just open the door again and get it outside so <laughs> So I, I'm running after the squirrel trying to trying to pick this thing up, but it's just still going mental everywhere. In the end, Lizzie ran into the room uh, and it started shouting at me about having a, a vermin inside. So I remembered and just opened the door. And this squirrel, it was like all of its dreams had been answered. I'm not sure that it was scarred from this. I think it actually, it just made it, I think it just made it really grateful for the natural freedom of free things it ran as fast as i've ever seen a squirrel run clearly not hurt from its smearing escapades on my patio windows and pissed off outside never to be seen again and we've we've uh we never tried to get the squirrel back it just it it, it was a beautiful time it was a beautiful time that i spent with queen latifah but it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be, what can I say? So I had a pet squirrel for about, I want to say half a minute. Maybe a minute. It might have been 60 seconds that I had it with. But I didn't kill the squirrel. I didn't kill the squirrel. As far as I'm aware, the squirrel was not hurt. The squirrel may have been mentally scarred. But as I said previously, I don't think uh, I don't think Queen Latifah had the best memory and was very trusting. And I'm sure it comes across more dangerous natural predators most of the time anyway. Yeah. Learn from my mistakes and never play with string and squirrels again. I, I absolutely will. I absolutely will. No dead squirrel. 